86 is a globally acclaimed sports coupe. Focus of a fast-growing fan base of owners worldwide. And in New Zealand, we race them in the Toyota Gazoo Racing New Zealand 86 Championship. After a four-year break, the Toyota 86 Championship returns to the Garden City, Christchurch, in the South Island of New Zealand, and the home of motorsport in the city, Mike Perro Motorsport Park. Welcome to Mike Perro Motorsport Park. We're here for round two of the Toyota 86 Championship. My name is Andrew Waite. I'm going to be giving you guys a tour around the track, but first, let's check out the highlights from round one. Perfect conditions at Highlands as a full field of 21 cars set off, led by last year's runner-up, Simon Evans. But it was Justin Allen, a long-time 86 campaigner, side by side as they headed towards the bus stop. Something had to give, and it was Allen the flinch first, Evans going into the lead, but into third place, Dion Pitt in his first ever 86 race. Pitt would hound Justin Allen in second place and go for the move. An audacious move at the hairpin, but it didn't work. He went too wide and Allen pounced back into second place, but it was all Simon Evans for the win. Starting off his campaign, Justin Allen taking second. Race two. And this time a reverse grid saw John Penny and Ronan Murphy side by side. Good start from McCutcheon in the 96. And likewise, last year's champion, Rowan Shepard, starting to make a show, having swapped cars and finally feeling more confident. Prujon and Stitchbury come together into the wall goes the youngster, Todd Prujon. Clay Osborne in the wars. The former car champion getting together with McCutcheon as they went under the bridge. Safety car comes out. And Penny leads the field in this reverse grid. Penny, one of the masters in the championship. And he would be chased hard by Ronan Murphy, who took part in last year's championship. But suddenly, his cockpit filled with smoke. And that was a sign that it was done for Ronan Murphy. But he could get a job with the fire brigade because once the car was stopped, it was Ronan that put it out. On to race three then. And this time, the points of the accumulation of the weekend sets the grid. And that means Simon Evans leads the way from Rowan Shepard. And it was a repeat of last year's championship. But this time, Evans takes the lead ahead of Shepard. And the rest of the pack is chasing, including Justin Allen and this man, John Penny. Allen, though, gets past Penny. And another overtake attempt into the left-hander, Finn Osborne, the rookie, tries to have a go at Todd Foster and does make it stick. Side by side into the final corner, Chelsea Herbert and Mark Mallard. Mallard going too hot into the final corner and hitting the wall heavily, and that was his day done. Penny still holding on ahead of Pitt here as they come to the bridge. Well, that was nicely done by the youngster, Dion Pitt, the rookie to the series, as he looks for his first podium in his first weekend of racing 86. But his back to the wall, Sam Cottrell was in his first ever car race and it ended in the wall. Sam Cottrell though, learning his way, and he said there was a fair few wow moments. The race would finish under safety with all those incidents, but it would be Simon Evans who would take the checkered flag and the championship lead after the first round at Highlands. Dion Pitt, the top rookie, and John Penny wins in the Masters. So with three races and one round gone, it's Simon Evans, last year's runner-up on 195 points, leading the way from Rowan Shepard on 176. Justin Allen, third with 163. Clay Osborne is in fourth place, then McCutcheon, then Penny, Pitt, Giltrap, Allen, and Stitch. Well, the 86 series is really exciting. You know, the close nature of the battles. It's a really good um, proving ground for young and up and coming talent. So even though I'm in the, uh, the sunset phase of my career, um, I get to, you know, sh hopefully show these young guys how to race and they can learn something from me. But yeah, I'm so excited um, to see all the people back at the track. And I'm sure a lot of people have had a long time out of the car because of the lockdown. So um, I don't think it's going to be I'm not going to be too much different to any of the other people. 
I, I, I really enjoy it. You know, um, you know, when you look at the average age of the class now, it's you know, it's it's very young. Um, but I'm really enjoying it. You know, it's mostly guys, young guys coming through. I always say that. You know, I'm, I'm an open book. They can come and ask me questions, and I've got nothing to hide. So. Wow, well, he's got a lot of experience, especially just racing overseas and in New Zealand. So he knows pr practically everything. Um, just his race craft is awesome. Coming through from the reverse grid races, he's been awesome in helping me find out different overtaking opportunities at all the tracks and stuff like that. We've got a really good pool of talent in New Zealand and even if I could teach uh, you know, a young kid one little thing, yeah, I'd be really happy. It's a very competitive field this year with 20 plus cars, but my goal is just to consolidate on last season, which, be, which was being a mid-pack runner. Um, so I think if we can push forward to the front end of the field, I think that would be good for us. You know, we were so close last year to win the championship, you know, with two corners to go, I thought we had won, but just just fell short. Um, so it'd be great to be able to, to do that. Um, I'd like to see, obviously, Marco, you know, obviously either be winning it if I don't or get in the top three. So as long as we can both try and finish in the top three, that'd be a really good result for the team. But it's not going to be easy. There's probably at least 10 to 12 guys that can, I think, can win on every any given day. So uh, we're just going to make sure we, you know, be methodical and put our best, best foot forward on each day. I'm going to take you guys now for a lap around Mike Piero Motorsport Park in the Toyota GR CHR. Heading down the main straight, it's really important to make sure you get that braking zone right into turn one. You sort of turn in and then you want to be back straight on the steering as you're braking hard down into turn two. So we get to turn two. It's a reasonably early turn in here, getting down to the apex and then on the gas, running the car out over the curb on the exit of the corner. As we come down now into turn three, Pothole, one of the hardest corners on the track, the fastest corner on the track. Through Pothole here, getting the car in, nice and close to the apex, running it out, making sure you're nice and straight over the bumps. Super, super bumpy through there. Toyota 86s are just bottoming out as they go over the bumps there. Down into the braking zone, into turn four, tightest corner on the track, super hard braking zone. Corner actually tightens up in the middle here. Then you're on the gas, on the exit, trying to get as fast as run as you can out of there. Out of there. Round turn it's five there, into turn six. It's important to make sure you're getting that braking zone nice and straight. And then we're turning in a lot tighter than you think through here. You can let the car run almost out to the outside before we go into turn seven. Round to the left back on the gas here turn eight this is an all-important corner double apex you're breaking up turning the car in the middle and then accelerating back out on the exit using all the road out on the left hand side of the track here As we're heading down the next straight into turn nine this is a lot faster than you think through here you're turning in getting the car down to the apex letting the car run all the way out to the left but as soon as you're out there you want to get back to the right for turn 10 turn the car into turn 10 and then you've got a lot of road out on the right hand side so you can be earlier than you think on the gas heading down into the all important last corner turn 11 hard on the brakes braking earlier than you think to allow the car to rotate in the middle here as much as you can so you can get on the gas and that is a lap of Mike Piero Motorsport Park in Christchurch Fine conditions for the 20 minute qualifying session although some drivers finding the grip challenging in the warm up Justin Allen continued his good form, with the team from IMS giving him a car good enough for third place. But the big surprise was Marco Giltrap, who seems to be learning fast from his mentor Simon Evans and teammate. Evans could only manage fourth fastest. Giltrap, on the other hand, was second. And it was a return to form on his home track for defending champion Rowan Shepard. After a difficult round one, he put it all together with a time 0.155 seconds faster than Giltrap, winning the Castrol pole position trophy, setting up what he hoped would be a great weekend. We are joined by category manager Jeff Short, handing over the Castrol pole position award here at Mike Perro Motorsport Park. Proudly sporting the number one, that's got to feel like a cool way to get into round two. 
Yeah, well, last round we were a P10 on qualifying, so it's cool to switch that around this weekend. We've um, we found a really great car, so um, I think we've got awesome race pace as well. So I'm just really hoping that we um, can get a bit of a breakaway and, and do our thing this weekend. Coming up next, the cars are out on track and we have all the action. Race one. For race one, sees local hero and current champion Rowan Shepherd in pole, Marco Giltrap alongside. In third and fourth is Justin Allen and championship leader Simon Evans. Then the two youngsters, Ronan Murphy and Matthew McCutcheon, be a good battle. Then it's Zach Stitchbury and Brock Gilchrist, seventh and eighth. Rihanna, O'Meara Hunt and Hugo Allen, the sensation of the rookie so far. Then Clay Osborne and his brother Finn, eleventh and twelfth. Then Dion Pitt, who's been impressive so far, and Chelsea Herbert in 14th position. John Penny, the master, alongside Todd Foster in 16th position. Then comes Todd Prugine, a rebuild of his car, alongside the master, Mark Mallard. Christina Orr-West and Sam Cottrell, also a rebuild after Highlands. And Will Morton, changing engines on Friday night before the start of this one. Great opportunity from Paul for Rowan Shepard. He's sticking with the old car, hence no stickers, and away he goes. But a great start from Marco Giltrap as we go on board with Simon Evans, who will also try to follow Shepard through. So here we go. Rowan Shepard on the inside. Giltrap getting hung out to dry a little bit. Clay Osborne coming up on Matthew McCrutchen, and they touch, going into turn one. Wow. Clay Osborne, the former Carter, not holding back. And Hugo Allen just touching the grass there and throwing up some dirt, but everybody cleanly through. So Rowan Shepard looking for his first win, goes into the pothole as we go on board with Justin Allen. He's got Simon Evans in front of him. He'll try to the outside as they go into Euromark for the first time. Two cars, Mark Mallard going very wide and one other car, there he is in the green car. But Rowan Shepard starting to build. He was very confident after qualifying Shepard. He stuck with the older car, hence no stickers, because he's sticking up the uh, new car for the season. But he just didn't enjoy it. And in the free practice leading up to the first round of Highlands, he ended up swapping cars and is so much happier with his championship winning car from last year. As we go back on board with Clay Osborne. Going in to the Southern Salvage S's, and oh, payback! McCrutchen says, you have a go at me, and I'll have a go at you, and up back he comes! They touch again! Wow! Well, Clay Osborne, using all his cart skills, and certainly not holding back. Dion Pitt hits the back of Stitchbury on the outside. Here's the number 15, Osborne again. He is in the wars. Clay Osborne side by side with Dion Pitt, who's so impressive at Highlands. And they're gonna drag race down the front straight. Talk about wheel to wheel action. What a start to this one. Absolutely superb. Zach Stitchbury trying to stay out of trouble just ahead of these two. And Pitt just holding the line in the number five as we go on board with John Penny. And John Penny won't be holding back. Penny leading the Masters at the moment. And side by side with the number 15. At the moment, McCutcheon just behind. Something's got to give, and it does! Clay Osborne spun round as they touch, he and Penny. And both go off, but Osborne gets spun round. Penny is still OK. Let's hope there's no damage. But, uh, well, Clay Osborne starting fourth in the championship. Here's another look at it from on board. Yeah. Well, I'm not really going to blame John Penny. And Clay Osborne, well, he's been very aggressive at the start, but then again, 157 points and fourth in the championship. He really does see the opportunity here, but that's knocked him down right down the field as Rowan Shepherd leads the way at the moment. The man from Hastings now living in Canterbury, leading this huge group with Hugo Allen in sixth place at the back of it. Then in seventh, this battle, Zach Stitchbury and Dion Pitt. And they're side by side now. That's gonna be a drag race down the front straight, and it is. Maybe get a little side draft as Ala NASCAR. But of course, Pitt got the better line into turn one. Stitchbury 
is going to have to do something here. He's not going to make it all the way around the outside. And sure enough, Pitt does just get his nose ahead. And Stitchbury, quite rightly, settles to stick behind him into turn one. But this is starting already to be a good battle for points. Stitchbury, 10th in the championship at the moment with 92 points. And Dion Pitt, 7th with 144. Back to this lead group, and look at this. Linus Stern and Hugo Allen, the man ninth in the championship at the moment, is at the back of this uh, group. He just goes on the turn for a second, but Rowan Shepard in control. Giltrap, incidentally, in second place, not giving an inch to Simon Evans. And Marco Giltrap, it's too early in the season to uh, allow his mentor through, and why should he? Rookie of the year last year, Marco Giltrap, and... Clearly, Simon Evans doing his job well of mentoring this young man because he can't get fast at the moment. And this little battle for seventh place continues. And they've got their own little battle because they're off the top six battle. But so far, this has been immaculate by Rowan Shepard. He's going to hold on here. Will Simon Evans make a lunge at his teammate? I think he won't, to be honest. He knows the consistency of finishing cleanly is the way to go. Hugo Allen might just have one more pop at Ronan Murphy, but he's run out of time. As we head down the main straight, it's going to be Rowan Shepard at home, who takes his first win of the 2022 season. Giltrap is second, holding off his teammate and championship leader, Simon Evans. A confirmation of the result, Rowan Shepard with his first win. Marco Giltrap second over Simon Evans and third. Justin Allen, a solid fourth. Ronan Murphy holds off Hugo Allen for fifth and Dion Pitt is in seventh place ahead of Jack Stitsbury, McCutcheon and Osborne. You know, I, I think we're the quickest card in. You know, we definitely, the, the car wasn't where we wanted it to be in qualifying. So that's all right. You know, we, we tuned up and I felt like we made a really good game there. Um, but, you know, really proud of Marco. You know, qualify, did a great job yesterday in uh, getting qualifying. And if he wasn't his teammate, I pro if he wasn't my teammate, I would have probably rubbed him up a bit. But um, <laughs> no, I'm really stoked. You know, third, and I'm really happy with the car speed. Um, and I think we're, we're probably the quickest car, so I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, first podium um, of the 86 series for me so it's uh, awesome big credit to the team for having such a great car the whole way through the race the um the track was has evolved quite a bit so it was uh it was interesting for sure yeah car was good um we did struggle at the end though we had a bit of a gap and um we lost that pretty quickly towards the end so uh yeah good car to start off with but not so much to finish so we'll have a look at that but um yeah a great effort by the team it's um that's where we want to be, so um, I just want to thank uh, Speedworks and uh, Cream Insurance for their support, um, and obviously Brad and Holly, um, and obviously all the um, all the boys and girls, all my mates that are on the hill. Uh, it's great to see them with a beer in hand watching me, so that's pretty cool. Hi, I'm Clay Osborne, I'm 16 and I'm from Waikato, New Zealand. I started when I was six years old racing at Tokoroa in go-karts. My cousin was racing and we thought we'd go and have a look one day, and before we knew it, Dad, Dad bought a go-kart for Finn, and I always went to all of his races. and I. I had a go one day and I really liked it. And we won the world championship in 2019, so that, that made us come, come to the 286 racing. The field was obviously the biggest thing, best, best racing field in New Zealand at the moment, most people, most competition. And obviously the V8 supercar drive is obviously an eye opener as well, but yeah, just the, the field and the quality of the field was the biggest interest for us. Uh, it's, a lot, it's a lot different to what I've driven because I've driven a Formula Ford as well. It's just, yeah, not what I'm used to. It doesn't have as much grip as what I'm used to, but it's good to drive. I've started to get the hang of it now, so it should be good. My mentor, Josh Hart, he's obviously one of my most inspirations throughout my karting career because he's had a lot of successes and, yeah, he's pushed me, pushed me really hard to winning that world championship. Me and my brother have been pretty competitive since we've been younger, always, always wanting to beat each other, and the competitiveness just keeps going with everything, like, on the jet ski who can do the best trick on the wakeboard and stuff like that. Just everything's got to be a competition out of me and my brother. GD3 cars is where I want to be over in Europe, racing GD3 for a factory team. That's my overall goal. Coming up next, Rihanna O'Meara Hunt tells us why she wants to succeed with the iconic endurance team, The Heart of Racing. I'm Rihanna O'Meara Hunt, I'm 20 years old, I'm from Wellington. 
It started when I was eight years old. Um, I've gone through all the ranks, so cadet to seniors. Um, where I first made my biggest achievement was when I was 15. Um, I won the Australian Rotex Pro Tour and was the first junior woman ever to do that and to win a um, state title. Um, so yeah, that was a really awesome bit in my career. Making history for women was awesome and um, I hope to do more. There was always a little bit of a desire to go to car racing. I wasn't sure if I could or not. Um, and then this opportunity with the harder racing and international motorsport came up and just bit, jumped at the bit and yeah, we went away and here we are. <laughs> Um, this is like my stepping stone, so this is my first year in cars, this is my learning year, which I need to remember. <laughs> it's always hard to put your drive behind you and um, focus on what you actually need to do and um, achieve. So yeah, this year we're going to be learning and improving and just slowly getting up to pace. It's been a bit of a jump, it's obviously an, a massive learning curve for me as well as just learning how to drive the car, so my engineer is Tim. Um, we met this weekend, so today, this morning we met and now we're um, focusing on building a relationship together and getting closer and being able to trust each other, <laughs> so yeah, it's been good. International Motorsport, they um, obviously know how to run a team, they've been doing it for so many years, um, looking at all their history is really, really cool. I uh, hope that we can do stuff like that together in the future, but for my learning year, they've been really patient with me, um, which is awesome. They um, just want to see me improve and they want to teach me how they want me to drive, um, so I'm kind of just like a little kid in a lolly shop <laughs> learning everything that I need to do. Um, so yeah, they've been amazing. Well, I'd love to go to America and race with the harder racing over there in their GT3 series. So I think that's a long-term goal um, and we'll just focus on this for now. Very wet conditions for the start of race two, a reverse top 10. So the leaders from the first race will start mid-pack and that's gonna be tough for these two rookies, Finn Osborne and Matthew McCutcheon, who start on the front row. Row two, see Zach Stitchbury and Dion Pitt. Row three, see Hugo Allen and Ronan Murphy. Then behind them, Justin Allen and Simon Evans, the championship leader, seventh and eight. There's your winner from last time out, Rowan Shepard, and just ahead of him will be Marco Giltrap in ninth. Then it's Mallard and Chelsea Herbert, 11th and 12th. Behind them, Todd Foster and Brock Gilchrist, 13th and 14th. And then further down, Christina Allwest and Rihanna O'Meara Hunt, the rookie, starts 16th, and Will Morton, 17th. Clay Osborne, brother of Finn, on the front row is in 18th and then Todd Prujon and Sam Cottrell 19th and John Penny starts 21st. So it's going to be these two rookies first wet start. A lot of pressure on both of them and they don't get away well. Dion Pitt on the other hand on the outside gets a brilliant flyer. Zach Stitchbury likewise. McCutcheon trying to recover in second place but Dion Pitt hits the front. Ronan Murphy gets a good start. On board with Hugo Allen, he's past McCutcheon, he's got Stitchbury on his left, but he's on the outside and he does just hold off now and slot in there. Gets a little bit of oversteer, but uh, cleanly through and this wet race is underway. What a start from Simon Evans. Evans up to third place, Gilchrist chasing down the number 14 of Clay Osborne. Here comes Rowan Shepard. Scything his way through as he started from 10th after winning the first race and now all over Gilchrist. And Simon Evans, there he is in the smeg on Wet and Forget. Not afraid to mix it up. We've heard how good he is scything his way through in the reverse grid and he's doing it again. Gilchrist losing out then as Shepard goes through. And he's now up against Clay Osborne. So quite a dramatic start here in the wet, but a good clean start all the same. And Simon Evans, amazingly, from eighth to third, and the top three pulling away as Zach Stitchbury tries to hold off Hugo Allen. And this group, which includes Justin Allen and Rowan Shepard as well, as we go on board with Marco Giltrap trying to take on Justin Allen. They're side by side. Rowan Shepard still there. It's very tight indeed as they go through the Southern Salvage S's on board again with Marco Giltrap. Oh, a touch there from Shepard on McCrutchen. McCutcheon in the wars this weekend, and Giltrap will pounce now because it slowed both cars down. Giltrap getting ahead, for now anyway, of Rowan Shepard. On board with Justin Allen in the 99. Shepard goes wide. 
Allen looking to the inside. McCrutchen getting very, very sideways onto the main straight, but holds it all together. Meanwhile, just in front of them, a drag race down the main straight for fourth place between Zach Stitchbury and the number 23, Hugo Allen. Giltrap now holding off. Rowan Shepard, who goes to the outside, but now gets back online, and Shepard gets good drive into turn one. McCrutchen's still there. He's now got Justin Allen all over the back of him. What a frenetic start to this one. On board with third place, Evans. Now, Evans has got to be careful here. He knows that consistency is king. It's what wins the championship, and he's just out of it last year by five points. That's all it was. But uh, And he knows Ronan Murphy is a fierce competitor. Murphy turns in. Oh, they touch. Pitt gets touched and spun around. Murphy carries on, and Evans goes through to the lead. Well, a little bit of luck for Simon Evans from third to first. Let's have a look at it from Dion Pitt's point of view. I thought he was wide going in, but actually still online, and the stewards will probably look at that. Murphy continues, but Pitt drops right down. And now fifth place, Rowan Murphy, winner of the first race, chasing down the 72 of Zach Stitchbury. On board with Marco Giltrap. He's trying to get through both of them. He's just behind Rowan Shepard. And Shepard, sure enough, at the Euro mark corner, does go through on Zach Stitchbury. Giltrap will try to do the same, and he does. So both of them through, and Giltrap now going in pursuit of the champion. Well, McCutcheon's had an interesting start to the weekend. He's been knocked heavily in both races so far, but he's holding his own. Here's the rookie. There's Hugo Allen in a clear third place, but Rowan Shepard and Marco Giltrap are coming quick, as you can see. Conditions actually uh, not improving at all. In fact, if anything, it's getting worse. The wipers on full blast. And Marco Giltrap in the Lexus-sponsored Giltrap car, looking for a way past the champion. Oh, and Gilcrest goes wide and spins around. Somehow, Dion Pitt avoids him, and he just got on the wet stuff. I think he bounced over the curves. Good reactions from Gilcrest to hold on, and how anybody didn't hit him is amazing. Look at that, Pitt just missing him. Now, Ronan Shepard coming alongside Hugo Allen, the youngster who's been so impressive so far, but Shepard is through, good clean move. And Allen, quite rightly, does not do anything silly. Oh, Marco Giltrap's going to go with him. So Hugo Allen, in a matter of moments, loses two spots quickly. And as they cross the line, Rowan Shepard now moving up to third place. And now it looks as though Marco Giltrap, if he holds his foot in here, should go past Hugo Allen. But Allen isn't giving up easily. Marco Giltrap's got the line and takes fourth place away from Hugo Allen. But Allen comes back on the switchback. Nice racing by the pair of them. And Hugo Allen is going to be a force to be reckoned with. He has no respect for the Rookie of the Year last year. But somehow, Giltrap holds on. Boy, this is going to be a big championship this year. The youngsters coming through very early on. As we go on board now with Justin Allen in the 99, as he goes past Matthew McCutcheon. But McCutcheon knows that this rock sweeper is a long, long way round. And if you keep your foot in, and that's exactly what he's doing, he may be side by side on the main straight. And that's exactly what's happened. But as they head down the straight, McCutcheon's got to clear him. Otherwise, Allen's going to have the line into the first corner. Justin Allen, with all his experience in the Napa Autosports car, number 99, does take that uh, position into turn one. And Allen in the 99, up to seventh place. So Simon Evans leads this race, but only just from Ronan Murphy and Rowan Shepard. And now we're getting back to some of the great battles from last season between these three, and they're pulling away. Giltrap, on the other hand, still trying to hold off Justin Allen. Here comes Allen on Giltrap. He's got the slipstream, but uh, in these conditions, does it make any difference, I wonder? Oh, Allen jinks out, and on the inside of Giltrap, Giltrap will defend. Oh, who's got off? No, Rowan Shepard has got off. The winner of race one has gone off at turn one while in third place. Oh, bitter disappointment having done all that hard work from 10th position. Meanwhile, Stitchbury on Hugo Allen. They're side by side. And looks as though Hugo Allen's going to hold him off. They're going to be side by side for the next couple of corners. Stitchbury just with his nose ahead, but here comes Hugo Allen. Oh, they touch. Allen holds it on. Now, 
can he make it round, I wonder. Oh, no! And he gets a big load of oversteer and there's damage to Stitchbury's car. And Hugo Allen, there is Stitchbury's rear bumper flailing with McCutcheon behind. Coming to the closing stages, Simon Evans looking for his first win of the weekend with Ronan Murphy behind him. Justin Allen in fourth place chasing Giltrap. Remember, Justin Allen started the uh, weekend 163 points, third in the championship. So we are starting to see some really aggressive racing here, and it's great racing. But Simon Evans will come out of the rock sweeper, and no one can stop him. It's been a superb run from eighth to first. Got a bit of luck, but he'll take it and take the checkered flag in the smeg. Wet and forget. And they will. Some of them want to forget this wet race, but some of them won't because there's big points. Simon Evans will increase his championship lead. Rowan Shepherd will want to forget this one. So too will Rowan Murphy. He was knocked down to sixth place after that incident with Pitt. So it's Evans, Giltrap and Allen, your top three. Zach Stitchbury in fourth and Matthew McCutcheon in fifth. A good result for the youngster. And there was plenty going on as far as some of the other competitors around you. You were eyes on the mirrors, eyes ahead, weren't you? Absolutely. At one point early on in the race, I think there was a car facing backwards just out of the hairpin. So it was all on up front. But uh, that was an awesome race. I had so much fun out there. We're chuffed for you in terms of that uh, of that P2, but but there is a question mark on it at the moment. Let's get your let's get your take on what unfolded when the, the contact happened. Yeah, at the end of the day, hey, it is what it is. You know, the stewards, will, I'm sure, take a look at it and make a call. But um, I felt like I was far enough up. Um, I just obviously Dion was fighting hard. He wanted the race win, and he, he did close. I felt like he closed the door on me there and just didn't give me enough room. And I had nowhere to go at that point. I was out of road, so um, I feel like I was far enough up. So. Personally, I'm, I'm confident, but hey, at the end of the day, it will be, it's not up to me, so we'll just have to wait and see. But apart from that, it was a good race. It was good fun out there, and racing with Simon, you know, he's, he's one of the best out there, so it was, um, it was a lot of fun. Tell me about that opening lap and, and, you know, the first sort of third to half of the lap. You really hustled, and that was key. Yeah, I think it was probably just my experience, definitely playing to my hands. I knew where to probably position the car. Um, it helped. I got a unreal start so when I come out third I was, I was very happy with that um, and then yeah poor old Ronan tagged Dion um, at the hairpin but I was the benefactor of that and from there I tried to push on but it was very slippery and it's, it's very hard to lead here in these conditions so I just sort of controlled it. Coming up the rain has passed just in time for the final race of the weekend that's up next on the Toyota Gazoo Racing 86 Champion. For the feature race based on points accumulated over the weekend, which means it's Giltrap 1 2, Evans and Marco Giltrap. Dean Giles will be happy. Justin Allen just behind in third, and then Rowan Shepherd in fourth, looking to recover. Likewise, Ronan Murphy after his disappointment in race two, Zach Stitchbury in sixth, then Hugo Allen seventh, and Matthew McCutcheon in eighth position. Further down in ninth, it's Dion Pitt. Flynn Osborne in the wars in race two starts tenth. Mark Mallard, the master, is 11. Clay Osborne is 12. Then comes Chelsea Herbert in 13th. And John Penny, another one of the masters, in 14th position. And then Todd Foster, 15th. And Brock Gilchrist in 16th. Work to do. Rihanna O'Meara Hunt, 17th. Todd Prujon in 18th position. Then it's Christina Orr West and Will Morton in 20th position. And at back this time, the youngster, Sam Cotterell, still having some wow moments according to him in the press conference. So it's Master and Pupil. On the near side, it's Marco Giltrap, who almost gets a bet. He does get a better start than Simon Evans, but Evans has got the line, and it's a really good start from Justin Allen. Likewise, Dion Pitt, as he did in race two, goes to the outside. He passes Hugo Allen, Stitch Free's next in the Armstrong car as they all dive into turn one. What a start from Justin Allen into second place. Simon Evans leads, Giltrap is third. 
good clean start. Ronan Murphy in fourth position. Rowan Shepard right there with him in fifth place. And a nice clean start here. Much better condition, still cloudy in the background, but no real chance of rain as they dive through the pothole, led by Simon Evans. On board with second place, Justin Allen. And ooh, Allen under pressure already from Marco Giltrap. Giltrap's really racing hard this weekend, really impressed with the youngster. Rookie of the year last year as we go on board. Oh, a little moment there for the 14, Clay Osborne, and he misses a gear and loses out to Gilcrest in the number 10. Brock Gilcrest going through on Clay Osborne. Justin Allen, who started the weekend third overall, looking to improve on that. Could go second if he stays where he is. Ronan Murphy up to fourth and trying to recover from a sixth place in race two after he came together with Dion Pitt and got uh, penalised for it. But everyone, line astern. Much better condition. Still some wet patches out there. You can see the puddles on the track as they go through the salvage S's. Simon Evans building on that lead. Justin Allen looking really strong. And you can see on the braking as they go into the rock sweeper that Allen late on the brakes and putting big pressure on the very experienced Simon Evans, looking to take his second weekend win overall. On board now with Justin Allen. Jinx to the outside now, down the main straight. He'll slot back into the race line. And Giltrap still there with him as these three now pulling away. But uh, it just seems as though Setup wise, Allen's got a really good car for this third and final race. But Giltrap ready to pass if either makes a mistake. As Allen, the Napa Autosports man, is in that Giltrap sandwich now. And here's a moment as they bounce through the pothole. He now jigs to the outside, cuts back to the inside. Good driving from Evans. Breaks early and stays in the middle of the road, so there's no possible inside move. On board with Clay Osborne, 12th position. He's got Gilcrest and John Penny just ahead of him. Misses a gear. Oh, he's missed several there. There's a problem there. It's through. Go. Several cars. Yeah, he can't find anything in that gearbox. It's like it's uh, not going to go into gear. He just can't make it stick. And he's going backwards, sadly. Clay Osborne will be out of this one. And that could bring out the safety car. Sure enough, he's slowing right down and we will have to pull off. That will bring out the safety car. And what a shame. It's been a Interesting weekend. He's been right in the thick of it, is Clay Osborne for the PowerOnEarth.com sponsored car. And as the crowd watch on, we're under safety now here in the feature race. And Simon Evans and Justin Allen will go at it again through the sweeper. Simon will be deciding when he wants to go, and Allen will try to go with him. Allen putting the headlights on as an intimidation. But I don't think Simon Evans is going to be too intimidated. And away he goes. What a start Evans gets. Rowan Shepard goes to the outside as well. Defensive driving for Allen as he tries to hold off Giltrap. Back with Stitchbury. He's trying to hold on to six, but Rowan Shepard on the outside. Murphy on the inside. Good driving from Stitchbury. He just about avoids Rowan Murphy. It might have been a tap there, but he's still in the hunt. On board with Shepard. He's got Zach Stitchbury alongside him. Murphy ahead of him, but he's boxed in at the moment. A lot of people ask why there are so many great international Kiwi drivers. Was here's why, because they go wheel to wheel, weekend after weekend here in championships like the 86. Through goes Stitchbury and takes a little tap on Dion Pitt. And these youngsters are up to speed quickly this year, no question about it. The rookies are going to be a factor, and the race to be rookie of the year could be huge. Dion Pitt leading that at the moment. But this has been a frenetic start. Oh, a moment there for Mark Mallard as he just bounced through a puddle there. Now back with the leaders, Justin Allen trying to put the uh, pressure on Simon Evans. Got the headlights on and everything. Meanwhile, Giltrap now under pressure himself from Ronan Murphy and Rowan Shepard. Shepard's got the better of Murphy, or has he? They're side by side. These two raced hard last year, and they're doing it again here in 2022. Still side by side. And Shepard bounces through the puddle, and that could lose him some time, and he does get out of shape. Uh, he's still got his nose ahead, but surely he's lost a little bit of drive. And Murphy just holding in as they go through the right-hander. Back with Stitchbury. Oh, and he gets oversteer going through the S's and goes on to the grass, comes back on board, the Armstrong's man. That's good composure by him. He's lost several places and he'll slot back in behind Gilcrest by the looks of things. 
Gilchrist still alongside him, but should have better drive. Into the right-hander they are, and they are side by side, and Stitchbury has to take to the grass again to avoid contact with John Penny. Now, Justin Allen still looking for a way past the championship leader, Simon Evans. But Evans getting as wide as he dare, and Allen putting massive pressure on now in the closing stages. Giltrap still in touch. On board now with Justin Allen. Where can he make that move? He's trying to force Evans into a mistake. He's got the faster car, no question about that. But Evans is driving superbly. This is great defensive driving, and this is what experience shows you. Absolutely. Justin Allen, though, has been around the houses and in 86 for several seasons, and is definitely on his game for 22, and very much in the championship hunt. So a good result here. A second or a win would put him possibly in second overall behind Simon Evans in the championship. He's almost nudging the number four Giltrap car. Now to the outside at the Rock Sweeper. Surely he can't go around the outside. He's going to give it one more chance to go through. Now he'll switch back. And it's going to be nip and tuck coming to the line. Evans holding on for his second win of the weekend. Allen will jink out now, but it's not going to be enough. And sure enough, Simon Evans takes the win and extends his lead. A brilliant run by Justin Allen to take second, and Marco Giltrap is third. Great wet and dry weekend here at Ruapuna, and now all 21 drivers are on great form, having dusted off the cobwebs after a long winter. Confirmation, Simon Evans with the win, Justin Allen in second, Marco Giltrap third, then Ronan Murphy recovers to fourth place, holding off Rowan Shepard. Six is Matthew McCutcheon, then Gilcrest in seven, Stitchbury, Penny and Prujon rounding out the top ten. With him, congratulations. Car looked really speedy, particularly over the back part of the circuit. Yeah, no, I thought we had a good car under us. Um, I just got just dropped the clutch a little bit too quickly at the start, which sort of put us in a bad position to go forward. Um, but Justin Allen was super quick. He has been all weekend, all season, in fact. So uh, great job to him and awesome to have Simon on the top step as well. Yeah, I didn't have much left at the end there. Simon defended pretty hard there, and Galway had some great speed. The Napa car presented by IMS this weekend, absolutely fantastic. Great way to end the weekend, P2, so fantastic. Yeah, thank you. That was for sure the toughest race of the weekend. Justin was by far the quickest car, um, but I just managed to hold him off, you know. So it was, a, you know, it was tricky, man. He and he took the fight right to the last corner. So yeah, the, the track was just so different to what we thought it was going to be. Uh, so the car just wasn't quite in the window, but still was. Uh, I love having race, uh, races like that. So. We enjoyed it too, mate. Congratulations. Well done. Roll on the next round of the championship. Yeah, two round wins from two starts, so can't complain. Cheers. Yeah, you should be happy. Congrats. Cheers. Great weekend for Evans, who moves to 405 points. He's 61 points ahead of Justin Allen, who moves up to second place on 344. Rowan Shepard, 333. He's 11 behind Allen. Giltrap, 8 behind Shepard. Fifth is now Matthew McCutcheon, who gets ahead of Dion Pitt, who drops the sixth with Penny in seventh. That's it from my Pura Motorsport Park here in Christchurch. Great to see so much good racing action. We'll see you at round three at Hampton Downs. We'll